Hello, welcome to the ASIS video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to see ASIS workbench space claim, which is a geometry modeler, and we are inside the ASIS space claim. So, we are going to see how to create an extrude as well as sweep operation with the help of ASIS pull operation. So, so, you can understand that how to create a pull operation to create an extrude and as well as a sweep operation. So, it is very important to understand difference inside extrude operation. The uh, path is always normal to the profile, and inside the sweep operation, the path is uh, that is along the curve. Okay, so that is basic difference. So, we'll select first of all the sketching plane and we'll first of all try to understand extrude operation with the help of path which is normal to the profile. So, select a sketching plane, we'll select XY plane, we can go normal to the plane, we'll select a circle command, we'll draw the circle of 20 mm diameter, we can escape from the circle command and then we'll rotate this sketch and we can create a new sketch and we can create this select this plane which is normal to the x axis and we'll again go to the plan view and we can again select a path which is line and this path is again in the positive or suppose this is positive z axis and this is in negative z axis that is of 49 mm then we can again return to 3d mode and once you return to 3d mode you can see this uh, uh, profile as well as this path so now we'll try to select and pull operation we select this profile and inside the you can see over here that is pull direction you can select this and you can select this pull direction so now you can see that we can see this options that is constraint that you can see up to you as well as this is full pull option so when you say up to you and you can select the end point of this pull operation you can see this is our end point so we have created this pull operation this is normal extrude operation in design modeler and this uh, here the name is full operation and you can see that we have created this extrude operation up to this point uh, which is along this path as well as this is the profile so you can choose any profile from these profiles and you can create a path which is a line and uh, it is very important that in normal that is uh, pull direction this uh, pull direction should be along only a straight line okay inside the sweep operation the pull direction can be a curved line so that's all and you can now exit inside the or you can click inside your graphics and this operation is done now we'll try to understand how to create a sweep operation using the pull option now first of all we'll select an uh, sketching plane so select a sketch plane we'll select x square plane and we'll again go to the plan view and we'll select a circle command uh, and circle passing through center and of 20 mm diameter and we'll exit from the circle option and then we'll again select we have to draw an path so we'll rotate this sketch and we'll again select a new sketching plane and we'll draw a sketching plane that is basically normal to again x axis and again we'll go plan view and then we'll move this grid uh, to the left and so we can draw our path over here so i will select the path as a curve so that is basically because we have to perform the sweep operation so we'll select a spline command and we'll select the starting point as a center of this circle and then uh, we can specify the other points of this circle spline option basically so you can see that uh, this is the path that we have specified again when you want to end this operation over here you can just uh, click escape button and you can see that we have created this uh, spline so now what you can do uh, we can uh, again click escape button to escape from the spline option and then we can return to 3d mode once you return to 3d mode we can see that uh, this is your profile and this is your uh, path so automatically pull operation is selected uh, so we can first of all so we have to select the profile and then we'll select this sweep option once you select a sweep option you have to profile provide the path so this is your path and then uh, you can see these two options that is basically up to you and this is there is a pull pull when i select a full pull so pull operation will be along the pull path okay and when i select up to point option and i select this point okay that is top point again it will be a same thing so no need to create a uh, this confusion both the options will be similar so only it's important to provide a path in accurate direction it is very important while creating path that uh, path should not inter inter intersect with itself that's why what will happen if i provide a very uh, path something like this so what will happen this cylinder will try to intersect with itself and that will be very difficult for the software to solve such kind of things so it will create an error so the path should be uh, very accurate and it should not intersect with itself 
that is a, a thing that should be kept in mind while creating the sweep operation inside a, any uh, any basically CAD software okay so you can see this so in this way we have created an uh, sweep operation as well as we have understood the use of this pull direction and sweep operation and uh, so that's all in this video tutorial in our upcoming video tutorials where we'll explore uh, uh, more options inside a space claim geometry modeler don't forget to like share and uh, subscribe to the channel thank you